computer is quite a bit new in the, in the uh, industrial sensor simulation. Uh, we've improved the navigation. Uh, we've been added additional sound effects. We've included a complete help system and we've included additional ways to interact with components. One of the best new features is the uh, working with the sensors. We can now insert a milliamp meter into the four to 20 milliamp loop and measure the changes in that loop as we adjust the environment in the greenhouse. Additionally, we can actually calibrate these sensors by adjusting the zero and span on the sensors and seeing the impact of that on the uh, on the settings in the uh, or on the environment in the greenhouse. We're striving to give users the best environment to learn to learn basically troubleshooting skills. Um, in this simulation, uh, they're learning how to maintain systems with sensors and analog uh, PLC inputs. The updates in this uh, in this release is going to provide a more accurate simulation so that they can explore the operation and the troubleshooting of systems containing uh, sensors and PLC inputs. The next release of, of this particular uh, simulation is gonna focus on the troubleshooting. It includes dozens of new faults uh, with lots of experience built into these faults to help the user build their skills. A new feature in this um, particular release is uh, that I'm really excited about is that we've included an adaptive learning algorithm that uh, we have designed. This algorithm is going to be able to select which problem scenarios the user will get based on the fault data and based on their previous results. Um, this system is designed to provide the best and the most customized learning experience for a user as they work through the, the training. I'm really, really excited about this latest release. Uh, it actually incorporates what we've learned about teaching troubleshooting over the past 20 years. Um, this particular simulation is going to, is really taking our, our suite of products in a whole new direction. And I uh, would encourage you to reach out and let us know what you think. Thank you.